The Mystery of Easter A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke At daybreak on the first day of the week, the women who had come from Galilee with Jesus took the spices they had prepared and went to the tomb. They found the stone rolled away from the tomb, but when they entered, they did not find the body of the Lord Jesus. While they were puzzling over this, behold, two men in dazzling garments appeared to them. They were terrified and bowed their faces to the ground. They said to them, Why do you seek the living one among the dead? He is not here, but he has been raised. Remember what he said to you while he was still in Galilee, that the Son of Man must be handed over to sinners and be crucified and rise on the third day. And they remembered his words. Then they returned from the tomb and announced all these things to the eleven and to all the others. The women were Mary Magdalene, Joanna, and Mary the mother of James. The others who accompanied them also told this to the apostles. But their story seemed like nonsense and they did not believe them. But Peter got up and ran to the tomb, bent down, and saw the burial cloths alone. Then he went home amazed at what had happened. This is the Gospel of the Lord. You will hear this reading on Easter Vigil night. Isn't it amazing? Can you imagine yourself being right there in the moment when they find out that our Lord Jesus' body is no longer in the tomb. How puzzled they might be and how frightened they might have been seeing the two dazzling people telling them that the Lord is not there but risen. Isn't it the greatest mystery of all? The mystery of Easter is the crux of our faith in the Lord. We are an Easter people and we believe that our Lord not only suffered for us and died for us, but ultimately He rose again, conquering death and is seated at right hand of God the Father. Our Lord loves us so much. His love was so perfect. He is the definition of perfect and we can understand through these glorious mysteries of his death, his descending into hell and rising again from the dead, sitting at the right hand of the Father. Our Lord, our God is the greatest of all. He became a servant, a servant king for his people. May we all share inheritance in his kingdom and I pray this Easter that each of you and your families experience his peace, his love, his joy and his strength. God bless you all and thank you.